The first thing to do when we are going to in import a PDF file into Inkscape is obviously open the Inkscape file. And then, using the File button, press Import. I've selected low relief houses and shops from scale scenes and I'm going to bring in the PDF into Inkscape. Once the import settings are on screen, you must select the page that you're going to use, in this case, page six. You can only import one page at a time. First thing I do is to drag that diagram, highlight it, and drag it into the page space. This makes it a little bit easier at the end of the process. Next, go to Object on the top ribbon and press on Group. That will show you all of the groups that are contained within that page. If we click outside of that, you will see then they're clear, but click on any item that you want rid of, and if it's in a group, delete it. If you then find another group, delete that group. If you then find another one, delete, and so on. If you don't want to go through every single bit at a time where it's only in a small group, just click and drag around the area that you want to delete and press delete. It'll take all of the component parts out, such as at the bottom, and delete. You're then left with bits that you might have to cut out one piece at a time. Take all the similar bits out. Any small bits that are left, delete. Click and delete. All of the parts that you don't need are gone. In this drawing, I know that there are six parts on here that I want rid of. These six little door spaces that will then come out because you don't need them when it's actually printing and you don't need it when you're actually sending it to a cutting machine. The next thing I do is then I highlight them all, drag round, and then I object again, but this time group. Now they're all one component part. Now at the top, if I'm going to print, I can just go to File and then Print, and it will send it to the printer. However, if I'm going to send this to Design Space within the cutting machine, the Cricut or Cricut Maker 3, I press there and I can select, as you can see, millimeters or for the cutting machine in centimeters. Make a note of those figures, 12.79, and 21.82. They're critical if sending it to a cutting machine. However, one thing that you do need to realize is that when you do print this on a printer, it will print at 100%. Not like when you send a scale scenes PDF to the printer, where you've got to change the setting from 96% to 100%. This one will print that at actual size. I hope this has helped and if you are going to send it to a cutting machine, then I've made a video that actually shows sending a file like this to a cutting machine and cutting it into any material that you wish to cut it in. Thanks for watching. Goodbye from Alan.